Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at the objectives of financial reporting for state and local government. It's worth looking back at the financial uh, reporting objective for for-profit. When we say financial reporting objective for for-profit, what do we mean? It means when we report financial information when it comes to a business, what is the objective? Well, the objective is to provide investors and creditors information to make a decision to make business decision that's the purpose of financial reporting when it comes to businesses for government either state or local government the objective is different the objective is different why for one thing state and local government as we mentioned earlier they don't have owners they don't have investors they do have creditors, sure they do, banks, um, even people, buy their bonds, they do have creditors, but the objective is not to provide information to those users. The objective of governmental reporting is to be accountable, accountability. So accountability is the cornerstone of all financial reporting in government, according to obviously the GASB. So what is accountability? Accountability, basically giving the citizen the right to know. So when we provide financial information, we are giving this information, financial or non-financial, we are giving the citizen the right to know. The right to know what? The right to know how did we spend the money? How did we raise the money? And how did we spend the money? Remember, in, in, in the earlier session, we looked at something called inter-period equity. Okay? So it's very important that the citizens, they want to make sure that we achieved inter-period equity, okay? It doesn't, you know, they don't, they don't want to see it maybe, but it's important for us to show if we did achieve inter-period equity or not. So, accountability imposes a duty on public officials to be accountable to, to, to citizens for raising public money and how it is spent. So, the citizens, they have the right to know how did you raise the money, how did you bring in the cash, and how did you spend the cash. And obviously, you're going to show this through a budget. Before we proceed, I would like to invite you to visit farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. But let's talk about inter-period equity because I mentioned it. Inter-period equity, obviously, it relates to accountability. And what is inter-period equity? It's the government obligation to disclose whether current year revenues were sufficient to pay current year benefit. So, did we generate enough revenue to pay for this year benefit or that the citizens defer the payment for future taxpayers in other words we spent the money now so for this year the government spent the money but they did not have the revenue and what happened is they're going to shift this expenditure this those expenses to future taxpayer in future years you're not supposed to do this you're supposed to achieve inter-period equity so the goal of financial reporting is to show all of this now how do you show all of this well in for-profit business you provide the income statement you provide the balance sheet you provide the, the statement of um, cash flow so on and so forth well in a business primarily you, you would also provide financial statement but the financial report that that usually you focus on to know what happened is the budget you want to see what did the government plan to do how did they plan to raise the money did they raise the money how did they plan to spend the money and how did they actually spend the money so the budget is a is a, is a cornerstone of any of the financial reporting it does not mean that we don't use um, they don't use other means of financial reporting you're going to see there's all sorts of different statements but budget usually is the most important okay also the financial reporting it will assist in determining compliance what are we looking for well we want evidence we want evidence from the financial report that you did comply with with the laws regulations any restriction for example if, if a bank lend you money 
They would use your financial report to see if you are in compliance. This way they would renew the loan, they may reduce your interest rate, so on and so forth. If the federal government gave you money for housing, they wanna see that that money was spent on housing. So the financial report will show them if you were in compliance of, of what you did, okay? Also the budget, the budget, and gonna go back to the budget. The budget is important because let's assume a government every year they set a budget, then what, what they end up doing, they end up blowing the budget. They end up spending more money than they plan for. So what's gonna happen next time there's an election, most probably those politicians will not be voted again. So that's why the budget is important because it gives the people the right to know. It gives them the ability to know uh, what's going on and by doing so they can hold the government accountable obviously the financial report it's gonna eval it's gonna help the users who are the voters help evaluate how well the government is running its business are they achieving their objective efficiently and effectively efficiently and effectively means uh, lowest cost possible in an efficient way they're not using waste they're not wasting resources so the financial report will help in that accountability process. Also, we want to assess the financial conditions and the result of the operation. We want to know if the government is raising enough money so it meets its obligation. Are they raising enough money? How do I know this? From the financial reports. That's one of the purpose of the financial report. And I want to know if they can, if they are, if they can provide services, if they can provide services for their voters. Can they meet their obligation and they can they continue to provide services? Remember, because the need to know is the most important objective for state and local government. The need to know. The need to know by the citizens, the right to know. Why? To hold the government accountable. So this is the objective of financial reporting. And don't forget, there's a relationship between interperiod equity and accountability. So the financial report will show us if interperiod equity was achieved. How would it be achieved? We raised enough revenue to meet our expenditure for this current year. We did not shift any burden to future generation or future taxpayers. If you have any questions, by all means, email me, read your textbook, and the objective of financial reporting for state and local government is important for your course as well as your CPA exam. Good luck.